Can can you ask Chris if he has any predictions for what's going to happen on the ski trip? Oh, I mean, Mike will die. This one? Yeah, he's going to hit a tree. Not G Mike. I my other guess was Harrington. Also plausible. Also <laughs> skiing <laughs> fucking sucks. That Fair. is my. F- who the fuck wants to go fucking sk- skiing? Blows. It is the worst fucking. You're the whitest person I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love all winter sports. All winter sports? I'm not good at curling. all winter sports, but Ice I'm good fishing. at skiing. You like curling? No, Yo, I'm not cur- good at curling, but I could fuck sick. with. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I've done that. Is fishing a sport? Ice fishing? Ice fishing, yeah. Is it a sport, though? Yeah. All right, whatever. Skeet shooting? Yo, I'd go bobsledding. I'll allow it. Luge. All right. You're going to do the luge? Oh. That yeah. rules. I wish I could do That's that. That's just fast tubing. Yeah, I wish I could do that. <laughs> Everyone with me. Somehow I feel shorter of breath having done that. I feel like I'm out of breath. Welcome to Gas Digital Now, the Gas Digital wrap-up show. The vibes are great. I did a breathing exercise with the fans before you got here. We'll see if that makes it. Really? Yeah, yeah. You did a get ready with me? I did a get... No, no, I did... If anything, I did more of a sun salutation. If anyone here does yoga. It's not really that. It was just like, let's all take a moment to be present. The, now the audience is centered and they're ready. That's exactly right. Sorry, I gotta stop saying all... Actually, I'm not getting rid of that one. That's a good one. We I, need your isms, Nat. We need your catchphrases. I said something before I that I... can't hawk t-shirts 10 years from now with all of your sayings on them unless you keep pounding them into the audience. I, um... The one I need to stop saying is, look at you doing X... That one I'm going to stop, but that's exactly right. I think it's a good one. I said one before I, that I uh, said is an underrated Lewisism, and I forget what it is. Well, I was just going to say on that, I'm going to counteract yours with whenever you, uh, sim- like if I have the urge to say, look at you, X, Y, Z, I'm going to say instead, wow, bless your heart. Okay, Southern like of southern, you. Yeah. Okay, bless I like your it. Bless your heart. I like it. I mean it in a genuine way, though, because no, if someone don't. look yes, at you, I do. Look at you. So maybe I, I can be genuine. I do it to myself too, plenty. Where I go, look at me knowing things. If I like come up with a fact that I didn't expect myself to know, or like that someone might not expect me to know, I go look at look at me knowing stuff. So I'm gonna say it genuinely. Well, bless, bless your, your heart. heart. Well, bless your heart. Um, how was your week, Mike? How's it been so far? Well, great. Uh, or weekend, you can tell we me about your weekend. We went to a show. We went to a show. We did go to a show. You're right. We did go to a show. We saw my friend Faith perform. Two thousands hits. Two thousands hits Gautier. in a cover band. Yeah, yeah. There was Gautier, somebody that I used to know, and there was Beverly Hills. Gautier is uh, the 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 um, what? All right. Go yeah. ahead. No, go ahead. No, don't follow Jorge on me. It's like got milk for anti Semites. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Who put it on stream? <laughs> what is this? Max? What does that mean? He said, who put it oh. on stream? Oh. You gotta. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you had the option to avoid it. Harrington said earlier that I have uh, puppy energy. You sometimes have puppy energy. What what what, what did you do that he said it? When we were doing the man on the street stuff. Oh, oh yes, doing man on the street like filming. You do. I can imagine that. I can picture that. He said that uh, I, 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 I just laugh at all. I like I'm an easy laugh, and that hurt my feelings. You are sometimes an easy laugh. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. So is Lewis. Like, it's not a bad trait to have. So, uh, what, I'm just a, a racist podcaster now? Yeah. Is that what you're calling me? Yeah, that's exactly right. 
We went to the show. What'd you think of the show? <laughs> it was at a barbecue restaurant. That was pretty cool. That said, there's no way you could possibly dance to uh Black Horse in a Cherry Tree by KT Tunstall. And boy did I you do sure a did. light little soft shoe. He did a little soft shoe. It was very funny. My friend took a video of him and it was just the stark contrast of me standing there like trying to be polite and Mike just fucking losing it over in the corner. Um, it was pretty funny, but the barbecue was really good. He's here. Oh, I thought I saw the frame move. No, he's Never not mind. here. No, that was uh, just you hallucinating. Yeah. Um, we had, do you like pickles? Why do I not know that if you like pickles or not? I want you to guess. You do. Yeah, but what kind? Sour. Not sweet. We um we got fried pickles, which is the reason I bring this up, and they were spears instead of chips, and I feel like that's not how it's supposed to be. The ratio is all off. the The little circle of pickle to breading is perfect, and once you do spears, it's like this big, like too hot pickle and like a tiny bit of breading, and I d I don't agree with it. Uh, how I described it was, it's like how steak fries just feel a little wrong. Yeah, but I can fuck with that because potatoes are hot, and if you bite into a big fry, it's hot potatoes inside. Whereas you normally eat pickles cold, and you bite into it, and it's just hot liquid, which is unsettling. But I get what you mean. The ratio's off. Hot pickle is what happens whenever Nat has a big problem. I think that was a compliment, so I'm going to say nice. <laughs> it took me a second. You didn't say smart. <laughs> um, what else did you do this weekend? Godfrey. Live Godfrey. So we're just jumping to Tuesday? I did nothing else. I don't think I did anything else either. I did, but it's probably not worth bringing up. What did I do? Oh, I was it Maya and Haley's birthday party? I did go to Maya and Haley's birthday party. I did karaoke on Sunday on Saturday. That was pretty fun. I don't need to list all the songs that I did, but it was very cool. It was in Koreatown. And the one time you're not going to list something? I'm learning my lesson, Mike. I'm trying to reel it in, okay? I'm trying. The fans want to know what's Nat's karaoke song. I did um, uh, Lit, My Own Worst Enemy. Which is a great song. It's a great song. And the recent SDR show guest. I did Bye Bye Bye. Uh, my because friend. It's about her sexuality. That one is that one is um, not a, probably not a full high five, but like maybe a B plus. I liked it. I didn't hate it. And um, Maya did Stacy's Mom, which is a hard song to sing because it's not in my range. It's like too either too low or too high. You know what I mean? Anyway, but the point is Fountains of Wayne. Fountains of Wayne. That's exactly right. That's the point. Hoboken. No Hackensack. Hackensack. Yeah. No, we didn't do Hackensack. We did Stacey's mom. That's it. It was fun. Tuesday. I had so much fun on Tuesday. I had so much fun on Tuesday. I had a great time. You know when I had the first time I had the most fun was when I came in and remembered that Godfrey was doing his show at the stand and that I wouldn't have to be here until two in the morning. Yay! Because it started an hour earlier than usual. Pretty happy about that. And that my job was pretty low key. I, uh, Alex was engineering, so I didn't have to do my full engineer job during the whole show. I was pretty much just running cameras and helping them set up I'll and break this. down. Yeah. Sorry, go on. Continue. I cut you That's off. It. That, I always do That's that. It. I cut you off. That's it. What else? That was going to be it. Go ahead. Okay. We, we don't have to be like this. I thought it was cool to kind of, uh, I, I think I caught a glimpse of like, knife in that a little bit yeah big time <laughs> you were you were you were in film mode the entire I was. It was, and it was cool to see it, it, it felt like i was uh watching you on a set i it, i was thinking the same thing because it, it really cool. felt like i was back on a film set again i go all right where do you need me breaking down and setting up tripods so fast dude yeah but even <sighs> like just the way running you, you going were, back and forth you were adjusting the camera yeah and like you were you know, just coiling cables. Yeah. They really drill that into you at NIFA and at film school. 
uh, the correct way of coiling cables. And just from NIFA, like, I said the tripod thing, because that's what I learned the most from New York Film Academy, was, like, there are so many weird knobs on a tripod, and mm. if you don't super know what you're doing, you might just be fiddling with things Yeah, it did look like you were assembling a, a sniper. It felt like that. <laughs> And if I said that, you would bring it up a hundred times like you did with the airplane thing. Remember how you used to say that all the time? Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are real ass podcast? There were like a bajillion people on the show. In the best way. Yeah, they were all uh, super fans and it was great to see like the, the, the faces yeah. behind the the, li- the YouTube chat. Shout out to the, the guy. night owls. Yeah, it was the, cool night to owls. See the night owls. The night owl. Absolutely. Shout out to the guy who was right in the front by where I was stationed, who was a huge fan, and he came in from Texas. Um, just for this, I thought that was pretty cool. There were a couple people that came into town just for this live show, and that was really cool. Um, we got to see Ty Jones crushed it which was awesome because such a good energy on the him. show yeah absolutely and it was great i went to the, at one point i went to the hallway to go like go to the bathroom and i walked past him and he like went like that to me and i was like huh what and he was like it's ty and i'm like what's up dude ah, that's awesome and I didn't, like i was i was like i didn't know we were cool like that so hell yeah i'm glad yeah. he remembered me after all that time that's awesome i love stories like that it feels good to be remembered by someone that you're like, ah, there's no way they remember who I am. They know so many people. Yeah, Ty is a man. Yeah. Very nice guy. He even stuck around after, which I thought was cool, mm-hmm. considering he's been so busy. Yeah. So it was great that he actually made time for it. Speaking of people who were on that show, Yamanika has done that to me, where I'm like, ah, there's no way she she remembers me. I, I don't know if she knows my name, but she remembers me from here. Where like, she's like, hey, how have you been? Whenever she's in for like Godfrey or whatever, Godfrey was awesome. Uh, it was uh, Nat could have made one of her uh, special bingo cards with like, what are they going to talk oh, about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's how we can kind of Palestine, Kanye, Jordan, <laughs> Jordan versus LeBron, Jordan versus LeBron, the school. The school. Yeah, the school did come in at the end. Women's psych- psychology. Women's getting psychology. Women. Uh, uh, the the mistreatment of gays in the black community. Um. Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> Absolutely. Dave making, Chappelle. Making fun of Akeem. Making fun of Akeem. <laughs> Akeem fucking. Oh, also the line that that G Mike brought Akeem out on was killer. Where it was like. Um. What, what did a he power say? forward in oh, the yeah. show and a power bottom every other night of the week or something like that. And and he was like, uh, excuse me, I'm a top. How dare you? He has top energy. He does have top energy. He's like, these guys throw themselves at me kind of shit. He talked about his gay cruise that he was on and how they were too gay for him. Oh, I don't remember that. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, uh, yeah, Yamanika. Yeah, Talked about Killing black it. issues. Yes. Um, what else? Was there anything else on the bingo card? They didn't talk about uh, uh, how hard it is to get auditions and auditioning no, in Hollywood, they, which is a, a, a classic bingo card. They thankfully did not talk about comedy at too all. Too much. No, not really. What did they except talk about? for talking about Chappelle? But like they didn't talk about their experiences in it much at all, except for like they did talk about the Cat Williams thing. Yes, you're right. They did talk about the Kevin. But for like a two hour episode, it was like, you're right. It was a very small part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but all around uh, an, an all timer mm-hmm. of a Godfrey episode. It was great. Absolutely. Please subscribe to watch it because it was awesome. Uh, I said it was like, it, it, it reminded me of uh, the w- Without a Country election special vibes. Yes. Uh, it had a very the fans were involved. Yeah, yeah, the fans were involved. It was like a live podcast thing. Um, all right. Anything else you want to touch on before we move on? I had so much fun. So did I. Anyway. Why don't you take the first question? I'm so mad there's no bubblies here. What's that? I see. No, thanks. Can I get a water? Go ahead. Thanks. What, let's decide what we're going to do first. Do you want to do my spook show question? Do you, did you like that one? 
super villain horror character collaborations? Not really. Okay. Yeah, if we're gonna do that, we should do it first, so that while you get a water, I have a little time to think about it. Sure. So let me introduce it. Uh, so this week on Zach Miko's Midnight Spook Show, it was the first episode from Black History Month. So we had two great black comedians on, Menu and Hart, and Akeem Woods from Two Faves. Uh, Godfrey Five Hundred Live episode. True thing. that. And, uh, and nothing else. No. Uh, they were talking about how they were surprised that there weren't more Freddy versus Jason style uh, crossovers in the horror movie world. Mm -hmm. And so they started brainstorming what they would want to see. And I think that it would be fun if we did that too with other movie character, like movie villains or horror characters. Okay, like cool. I can work with that. Duh. Why would I get water when there, th this is right here? Please don't. I mean... No, please don't. No, you better not. No, please don't. <laughs> Come on, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I love scaring her. Don't do that. He would is the problem. <laughs> if I knew that you weren't dumb enough to do that, <laughs> I wouldn't have been as scared. He's not dumb. He's just always down for the bit, and it's infuriating. Um, I came up with two really good ideas, I think. Okay. Um, so for me, it would be Clifford and Godzilla. Absolutely it would. I think compared to Godzilla, Clifford is like the size of a normal dog. You think so? Like, I think Clifford is big to us because we're people. He's like the size of a house. Hmm. Whereas Godzilla's like the size of a skyscraper. Which is kind of funny because I think that like... So then there could be Godzilla's pet. Yeah, exactly. There it was like go. he would be just normal dog size. Okay. Um, My idea was the girl from The Ring and the girl from The Grudge. And they have like a scary girl off. Oh my God, I love that. Or... Uh, if they, in case they have been in a me piece of media together, um, one or both of them versus the girl from the Exorcist, or like some version of her, because she was already exercised in the movie, like, but like I don't know, a retelling where they're they're both in the same world together. I don't know, or and I don't know why they haven't done this before, because it would probably make a bajillion dollars and cost a bajillion dollars but make it back is um transformers and the fast and furious universe yeah so it's that's all just a great answer because it's like it's just it's very like capitalism movies have gone to shit now but it makes total sense if you think about it it's not even capitalism going to shit it's the the turn your brain off yeah, it's style like style action movie where it's like content you're is eating itself. You're suspending disbelief. Yeah. And just watching a bunch of machines do goofy fight stuff. Fight and go yeah. fast. Exactly. You love this idea. Mm -hmm. I said it as a joke because I'm like, that's disgusting. I'm There's surprised no way I that. they ha haven't done that. That's it what yet. I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There must be something to do with media properties. Um, What's it called? IP, intellectual property. What were your ideas? I have to come up with them. Okay. Um, I because I don't watch movies. You don't watch movies. That's true. It could be. They said something about Chucky. I think. Okay. Where are you putting him? Who's he meeting up with? Chucky versus yeah, the clown that, from It. Ooh, see, the, you're good at this. Thanks. The it, the It clown and the Joker. Okay, so it's like a clown off. Yeah. It's funny. Which is this show. <laughs> Correct. Um, yeah, because the Joker's kind of a villain. He exists in the real world, like, quote, unquote, the real world, mm -hmm. which is, like, you know, where Batman exists. They don't really have powers. They're just, like, people. They, like... I feel like Batman almost exists in the real world opposed to Superman, which is like, he's super like, that's not real. Whereas 
um, it is like a ghost, but he's like a demon basically. So I don't know about that. Uh, I want to see the aliens from Independence Day. Uh huh. Turn E. T. into a villain. Okay, I love this idea. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> they like turn him bad. So they all come down together at the same time, or what? No, they like beam him up. Like he go, he thinks he's going home, and he ends oh, up on the Independence Day ship. Yo. All right, I like this idea. And they like kidnap him, and they turn him into like their like boy. And then they send him back. Yeah. That's funny. That's and a great idea. He's, now he's evil. That's a great idea. Doing like a ET but evil timeline yeah. is pretty funny. I like that. Okay, so here's what it is. Here's literally what it actually is with Godzilla. It's Godzilla versus the Jurassic Park dinosaurs. There you go. You figured it and out. And that's the bit. And <laughs> we, we got it. We caught it. <laughs> the Dr. Pepper hit right there. And there it is. And now we can finally move on. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wouldn't that rule, though? <laughs> what? Just like the Godzilla. The Godzilla, Godzilla and, and the regular Kong. dinosaurs. Godzilla, King Kong versus... The, <laughs> the Jurassic Park dinosaurs Funny. and fucking Jeff Goldblum's head is just exploding. He's just like good, short good, good. circuiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> what I like the it. fuck is happening? Okay, good. Whatever. Let's move on. What was um, your rap question? So mine from Giannis wasn't too strong, but I thought we could touch what on is it at some point. What is it? We can decide which one we want to start it with. It was just they they were watching a lot uh, uh, videos of people be like. I don't know how they got into the conversation, but they did at one point touch on the ski trip. Uh huh. And what, like, who could ski, who could snowboard, stuff like that. So I just wanted to know, like, I'm a snowboard guy. You're a ski person. Yeah. Skiing versus snowboarding, but it doesn't. Whatever. That's fine. I um I just it's just intuitive to me to have both my feet facing forward. Like, there's a different kind of balance mm. and, like, core s- center of gravity involved with snowboarding that yeah. I... I haven't done it since I was a kid, mm-hmm. but, like, skiing, I... Yeah. It's literally just, like, I took lessons to learn to ski, and so that's in my brain, and I tried snowboarding once, and it didn't make sense to me, and I've never done it since, and I was, like, eight. So, that's where I'm on that. What are your thoughts? Yours is that, but the opposite, where you're like, I've done snowboarding, and I haven't done skiing, and that's why. I tried skiing. I almost broke my fucking ankle doing it. Why is that? Because I just, like, my feet like went like that. Or, like, you know, like... Right. Sure. <laughs> and I fell over myself, but, like... Like, I tripped in the ski boots. Oh, and yeah. And ski boots don't fall with you. Right, right, exactly. They, so almost... they stay like this, and then your body is like that, yeah. Uh, but... Skiing it's not the same sense. thing, obviously, because they have actual bindings instead of just stuff you slip your feet into, like a target, the t- target snowboards I had. Right. But uh, I used to, me and my friend Tyler used to have our take our target snowboards and go down his hill, which had rocks at the end of it, and then we would oh go down the hill and then jump off the rocks. Oh, and geez. it was our favorite activity. That's funny. It was a. It was like, from the table to the ground. Right. But that's cute. Yeah, it was. So I think I could get the hang of it if I actually put my mind to it. But it is d- more difficult than, and requires, a uh, increased amount of balance on an actual hill. But I think I could. One. Uh, I will say this about myself. I'm a very fast learner. I think that's true. So I think once I get the hang of it, I'm gonna have the time of my fucking yeah yeah absolutely also if we're going for more than one day which i think we are one day skiing and one day snowboarding okay and then we're gonna probably tube at some point yeah that's what i was saying i want to tube i want to tube also harrington said he wants to go tubing uh i'm excited for that too because that requires no skill (laughs) that's literally just like sledding unfortunately lewis can't because his channel's been banned from youtube (sighs) (laughs) r.i.p anyway uh let's move on uh, so on rap on Wednesday, which was Sabrina Piper and Monroe Martin, is that correct? So it was definitely Sabrina, and yeah, it was Monroe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, they talked yeah, about. Yep. Ooh, uh, okay. Sorry. Okay, are you done? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh huh. Um, they talked about fine. 
I don't trust you. <laughs> they talked about finding a phone in a cab, what your protocol is. Ooh. I don't have a philosophical what if question for this. My question is if you find a cab in a phone, what what do you do? What's your protocol? Because theirs is. Is there a passcode? R- yes. Let's say that there's not a passcode because that's crazy. They basically they spent a lot of time talking about like I look for nudes and or even send them to yourself, um, which is bonkers. Remember before they figured it out. On like the old iPhones, mm-hmm. like the iPhone three maybe, right? iPhone two or three, they hadn't realized yet that. I think it was iPhone three. It was for a very short re- a- amount of time, but they had the you can turn your camera on before you unlock the phone, and they hadn't realized that there's a there's a loophole where you could have gone into photos, photos and it would have taken you in regardless that's and crazy they, they changed it in some update right but it was like that for a little while and so that's how me and my siblings used to get into my mom's phone before we could have a phone whoa that rules that's yeah. a great story i did not know that and no one in my family had an iphone until they were at least on four i would say mm. um yeah all my si- sorry go on i had a four all of my siblings and I all know these little like tricks because my parents also once we got one wouldn't let us on Sir, safari. Most things, yeah. So like we we found a loophole of like our dad let us download the one game mm-hmm. and they would sell ads on it. So you could click on the ads, which would take you to a website. Yo, that rules. Or you could go to, it would say like Google ad choices. Uh Uh-huh. And so you could hit the the ad choices button and it would give you like a terms of service or whatever. And at the bottom, it would say like. Go back to Google. Go to Google. And then you could use this search bar to go over. That fucking rules. (laughs) Dude, (laughs) that's such a good story. Hell yeah. Hacker mode. So that rules. That has nothing to do with finding a phone in a cab, but I just wanted to bring that no, up. No, I love that story. I'm glad that's where we went with that. Um, would you ever snoop through someone's shit, assuming that it was, I guess, is my main question. No. I don't think I would. I'd be the too society out. is too litigious. Yeah. Unfortunately. It's not worth it. I agree. I'd be too way too freaked out. Zach did say he like found a phone once, sent the nudes to himself, and then deleted the evidence. And I'm like, that's oh. so fucking risky, dude. That's crazy. I'd be so afraid that you could trace it back to your phone, to his phone or whatever. Pretty whack. Anyway, that's it. I I wish I had a better answer for you. That's okay. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know where I expected us to go with that. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. What do you like better? Uh, brands that you would sell out for in your middle age, that's or Cle- devil's advocate for clever equals evil probably the first one depends on what kind of vibe you're going for i could do either i don't know i like the idea i like they didn't touch on it as much and it's not as strong of a part of the episode as the clever versus evil thing but they were just talking about how like um like the backstreet boys are now doing like all the guys tied commercials or whatever yeah. Yeah, like insurance shit now. Like the, their fans are growing up, so not so like. I would sell right. out for Kleenex. Kleenex is a really good one. I would. What say. What brands would you sell out for in your middle age? Mucinex. <laughs> I've ne- I've never once used Mucinex, but I like their branding, and I could be the person for Mucinex, and that's an old person, middle aged person thing to care about, or like maybe one of those like monday.com or something like one of those like like slack oh monday.com yeah monday.com i said monday.com oh. yeah yeah yes exactly click up yeah one of those fucking bullshit nat would do click up ads that's so funny I are you even... having trouble managing your employees grammarly make sure, yeah make sure that you can micromanage every single one of their tasks with my new favorite brand click up yeah i don't even know click up but i do know I knew do know Monday from the subway or like Grammarly. Uh, do you want to know exactly when your employees are clocking in? Hi, I'm Nat with ADP. Yeah, yeah, there it is. ADP is a good one. Shout out ADP's headquarters in Allentown. It's funny, Pennsylvania. I would, 
I would actually, this isn't quite on topic, but I would love to be the spokesperson for one of those really fucked up um, ad campaigns for dating apps that I hate all the time. Like Tinder. It, it not so maybe in theory, but like that's it was, one of my favorite. Uh, I know the Super Bowl is coming up. One of my favorite favorite Super Bowl ads ever was dating the devil. That's the funny. tender one was actually really good. The, whichever one that I always forget the name of that had the Kafka esque ads on the subway of like people with deformed bodies attached to each other and stuff. I already forget. I always forget. I always have to Google it, but something like that. Damn, I, that I, that just made me sad. I just realized this is the first year without a uh, Mike Vecchio breakdown of the Super Bowl ads. <gasps> You're right. We got to bring him back as a guest on a show for yeah. that. You're right. Or like a one-off content. That'd be Women funny. can be astronauts. I saw it in a Super Bowl commercial. Oh, my God. I have to message him. Wait, yes. What? That's where Women oh, Can Be Astronauts oh, oh. came from. Yeah. Classic. Damn, you're right. We got to get him back. Um, I have one, but the fucking pillow cube or like one of those like orthopedic. Yeah. Melatonin. Melatonin is good. The, the, one of the special pillows that are like, or like, you know, mattress for, um, when sleep number mattress or whatever. Uh, John Deere. Can I be a, that's Perfect. my answer. Perfect. I want to be a, 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 for John Deere or other gardening equipment. Because in your middle age, you become obsessed with your lawn. Cool. Sweet. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's move on. Do you want to do my murder question? Or you want to do one more of yours? We don't have to do both. What is your murder question? Uh, uh, Harrington made a good point that like these party topics of the week are perfect for our show. Um, she was talking about the death penalty on Without a Country this week. And... how there was a specific instance that she talked about where it was botched and another instance where the guy has been brought brought to death row and pushed back like nine times or something like that over the course of like 30 years or something she's Um, been brought back to death row 30 times he yeah really yeah the guy that they were talking about what did he do i don't remember that's i mean after 10 yeah but it's crazy the thing that she yeah the thing she pointed out she was like i can't imagine that they would keep putting him back kill him what are we doing with like i mean with this much speculation if there was so much speculation that you pulled him off twice don't kill him like if there is enough oh yeah yeah god want him alive if there's enough reasonable doubt that you brought him back twice take the hint from jesus yeah exactly it's crazy but like I was saying to Harrington during the show, I'm like, every Stephen King book or movie I've ever seen has made me against the death penalty. Because they always have the wrong guy. Like, bo- like in, in particular, I'm thinking of The Green Mile and The Shaw. Um, also, you're still alive. The Huh? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Because it's criminal to be walking around looking like that. <sighs> um. Anyway, I guess he didn't get... Th- get the death penalty in the Shawshank Redemption, but he was the wrong guy, right? Andy was, I'm pretty sure. Or he was there under cir- bad circumstances or whatever. But in particular, in particular, the Green Mile has made me against the mm, death penalty because mm. the main guy was there incorrectly. The well, What's his name? God, it's been so long since I read it. But then also- Oh, Miles the- Green. But also the other... Which is the blackest name of all time. Who are you talking about? Miles Green. Who's that? The guy from the Green Mile. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for that. Also, Miles Green is the blackest name of all time. Whatever. The side character that got botched. Like, that was so scarring when I read that in the book where they don't put... They they give him the electric chair, but they don't put water on the sponge and they just fry him. It's, and I'm sure in the movie it's so much worse. I've never seen the movie, but the book it was so brutal, dude. And I was like, no, there's no fucking way. So in the one story they were talking about on Without a Country, they he like was suffocating for like four minutes before he knocked out, and it didn't work like with the injection, 
or like beating around looking for a vein and not <laughs> finding one and just <laughs> shooting them wherever. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> hey, man, we're talking about without a country. You want to come in? I don't think that mic is on. Hey, cutie. One of the, uh, one of the most underrated shows on Gas Digital. Love yeah. to hear Indeed. it. Indeed. Um, so what I was thinking while she was reading that out is like yeah. some dumb tech was like, I mean, we got to put a little oxygen in there. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. You cra- know what I mean? It's like, yeah, that is pretty crazy. Because honestly, we Alex and I were talking about this like in the car on the on the ride to, to, to her mom's house. And it was like, yo, you know how much that must have fucking ruled for that guy? Like we didn't know it ended horribly for him. And, right. And the worst thing ever. But going out by nitrous? Yeah, except for the part where he suffocates. It's yeah. supposed to be good. That's why they started doing it. It's supposed to rule. But I'm saying that must have just been some dumb tech being like, I mean, come on, we can't be we can't be inhumane. We right. gotta give him at least a little bit of oxygen. Right. And then he come just fucked him. Dude, that sounds like that's how I wanna go. No? Suffocating for four no, minutes no, no, before no. you go out? Fucking gurgling and staring at a fucking <laughs> uh, an observation dumb idiot room. guy. No, it like literally is just like people watching oh, in Jesus seats Christ. around. They're witnessing your execution. Yeah, yeah. So you have to look up at those people as you're fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that pretty like, horrible. But just fucking, dude. Just having... to scar them is you're saying? No, dude. I'm just saying having the best whip it ever. That's oh, really what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most intense whip it of so all time. So not the botched one. You're saying the regular yeah, one. Dude, the way it's meant to. The go. The way it's meant to go. Absolutely. Dude, yeah, that's absolutely. It. Euthanize my ass. Yeah, and yeah. Make me, dude. Have you seen me spaz out on whippets before? No. Yeah. Yo, that it's scary. That to the end? Yeah. Ooh. No. Maybe that was it. Ooh, I didn't even think of that. Maybe that's why he was spazzing and gurgling like that. Because that's what I look like. He was like. in Nirvana. That's what that's I funny. look that's like. That's crazy. When I'm getting rocked with a whippet, that's I don't crazy. feel any of that. It scares the hell out of Alex. Everybody around you? I'm like, yo, this I hope so. I hope that's how he went. I Probably. agree. I didn't even think of that until that's right this crazy. Moment. That's yeah. crazy. Like how like when um when they wake up like uh, people who are ODing, they get like mad at them because they're having the best high of their life. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. That's we talked it. about that on the show too, bro, or some show recently. Honestly, let me sign me up, dude. Right. Once he yeah. turns eighteen. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's see what the fucking uh, machine people have to say. Damn, crazy. Matt, what was your question? What was the party? I truly question? don't remember. Oh, the party question was: uh, if someone murdered you, would you want them to get the death penalty? Oh, that's why I said this is a really heavy question. Um, I, I would, I would hope they would get a medal of honor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I would hope they get a fucking parade. Yeah. They went, oh, thank God. That yeah. guy's gone. It like, um, yeah, whatever. They get a Nobel Peace Prize? Yeah. <laughs> All right, whatever. That's good enough, I guess. What, what about you? No. No, I wouldn't want them to get the death penalty. I mean, unless they literally, like, tortured me, maybe they would. Although I feel like it's more fair to let them fucking rot in jail forever. I don't know. I feel like that's as much of a punishment as, what, just getting a get off early? Get off easy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah, pretty whack. Um, You're not even drunk. How would you? Did you tell me already? I might have spaced out, but did you tell me how you'd want to go out? No, my other question was other ways that we should execute people. If you want to talk about Duh. that, ways you want to go, ways you think that we should execute people. Sodium poisoning. I want, or sorry, sugar poisoning. I want to like, I want to have so much sugar that I die. Like I go into like a, a diabetic coma. Whoa. Okay. Just from Willy Wonking out. I I absolutely would want Wonka to kill me Damn. with sugar. That's pretty. Or cool. um. Hmm. Harrington made a pretty compelling argument there for nitrous. I don't think it's good. that's going to go the way he thinks it is. No, I don't either. Absolutely. <laughs> but he's like, in theory, doing the strongest whip it ever so that you die. What Sounds about pretty chill. a brain aneurysm inducer? What happens while you're having a brain aneurysm? Is it painful? Nothing. It's like instant. It can be instantaneous because it's brain bleeding. It's like right. a brain hemorrhaging. So like. That's crazy. 
and it can happen at a moment's notice, which is like one of my biggest fears. Mine is too. Just having an aneurysm. Mine too. Uh, ooh, what about um, death? What about uh, uh, ooh, you know what they should do? I think tax What's dollars that? should go to this. Okay. You can feel this is going to be something, don't, oh, can't you? I get that way your stupid grin on your face. <laughs> I th- well, I think we should reallocate funds mm-hmm. in private prisons towards for the death penalty doing autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Just get kinky in there. Yo. That's a pretty good idea, actually. I'm get him off sick. one last time. Instead of a last meal, you get a last yank. <laughs> you should be able to pick one. <laughs> yeah. Where you either get a last meal or a last cum. <laughs> that fucking rules, dude. That's a great answer. Jesus Christ. A last cum. A last cum instead of a last <laughs> meal. That's cr- What if it sucks? <gasps> <laughs> what if you accidentally ruin it? Oh, yeah, you think sucks. about your mom or something? Oh, how <laughs> awful would that be? That's it. Uh, yeah, you don't have, You can fuck a prostitute with no condom. Yo. <laughs> well, that's worse for her. She's still got to abort. That's no, she's part got of a the dead ta- guys, that, baby. That's part of it, though. Like, that's if you have a last comes, the state has to pay for the abortion or Plan B. Ah, that's whack. That's crazy. If they're paying for your state, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. They have to pay for the Plan B. Or yeah, for yeah. The fucking... <laughs> All right, whatever. Yeah, the yeah, escort. that works. That works. I'm into it. <laughs> last yeah. come is so fun. Yeah, yeah. What, you, yeah. They have like a, they have like a box full of toys that you can like choose from, that's and they funny. have like a, per, they have like one of the guards has to put on a gimp, if the, <laughs> if you funny. so request. That's funny. <laughs> I was watching. I think it was. A- <laughs> There's a room with like a, one of those giant Ooh. wheels that they strap you to. Jesus. You know what I'm talking Christ. about? Oh like, yeah. They, tie, they have a tying up room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> A whipping post? Yeah, yeah. You're like, I got him. This is so funny to you. <laughs> when last come, That's and you so finally do all the things you never had the balls oh, to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, I don't know. I guess I will try getting my balls stepped on all by right, a dominatrix. I guess I will try <laughs> gay sack. Like, that's what, it's gonna, yeah. that's what it's actually gonna be. It's gonna be dudes with kids being like, God, I've wanted to fuck a dude this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Get that's the so strap funny. on. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, oh, why would so you funny. risk that? Because what if you don't like it and then that's the end? The <laughs> last one? Yeah. I would do something safe and reliable. All reliable. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, so that's funny. it. That's good. I think that's pretty good. How have you guys been for the last hour and a half? We missed you. No. You the show me? is better with you in it. That's fake news. It's 100% true. No. But if the fans do like me, they could check out mine and Paco's new show coming to you live every Thursday at 8 a.m. Or wait, no, 11 a.m. <laughs> on the Gas Digital website. Still on Pacific time? Yeah, pretty much. Anyway. Why is Chris looking at us like that? Because when is Chris not looking at us like that? It's okay. Well, he's looking at one person specifically like that at all times. This, this Why? One. I'm not his dog, remember? We determined this. I thought. Anyway, we can wrap this up. Jorge, did they talk about? Uh, well, actually, let's let. I want to ask Jorge this before we go. What are you most excited for? Have we asked him whether he wants to be a ski guy or a snow guy, snowboard guy? Uh, neither. You're well, just gonna chill both days. Yeah. Okay. But you're. You're a snow boy no, now. He, no, he's a surf boy because he's yeah. from the West. I know. That's why he's got to experience. Coast. He's got to experience it. Skiing's gay. Uh, all you need to know is pizza, French fry. I watched Camp Laszlo. Yeah, California has mountains you can ski on. I think. Yeah, all like, he mentioned Camp Laszlo, and you're not more excited about it. Shout out Cabin Jelly Bean, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, you can go Big Bear, Arrowhead, uh, Shasta, San Bernardino. There's plenty of places an hour outside of LA to go. Like last year, we got more snowfall in Southern California than than over here. But uh, yeah, not a lot of I know climate of, change. Yeah, not a lot of people that regularly. Can Can you ask Chris if he has any predictions for what's going to happen on the ski trip? 
Oh, sure. Yeah, you can have some of that. Are they watching clips? What's going on in there? No, they want to know if you have any predictions for the ski trip that we're going on. Oh, I mean, Mike will die. This one? Yeah, he's going to hit a tree. Not G-Mike? I, my other guess was Harrington. Also plausible. Also, <laughs> skiing <laughs> fucking sucks. That Fair. is my... Who the fuck wants to go fucking... Ski? Skiing blows. It is the worst fucking... You're the whitest person I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love all winter sports. All winter sports? I'm not good at curling? all winter sports, but Ice I'm good fishing. at skiing. You like curling? No, Yo, I'm not cur- good at curling, but I could fuck sick. with... Yeah, it's pretty fun. I've done that. Is fishing a sport? Ice fishing? Ice fishing, yeah. Is it a sport, though? Yeah. All right, whatever. Skeet shooting? Yo, I'd go bobsledding. I'll allow it. Luge? All right. You're going to do the luge? Oh. That yeah. rules. I wish I could do That's that. That's just fast tubing. Yeah, I wish Still I could do that. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We've gone on way too long. This is supposed to end 12 minutes ago. Shoot we'll be out there. the gayest possible sport? Correct. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate you weighing in. Thank you. This, this has been Gas Digital, now the weekly wrap-up show. This is Jorge. This is Natalie DeChico. You can follow her on Instagram at nat- Natalie DeChico oh. underscore DeChico. Nope. You had it right the first time. Fuck. Natalie DeChico edits. Uh-huh. Underscore edits. Fuck. I knew there was an underscore there. Yeah, yeah. Check out her latest post and like it. Uh, it won't be the latest post by the time this comes out. Let's be honest. And that is... You're going to um, post something new on your Instagram? Yeah, probably a clip that you made. Oh. And that is Michael, who, speaking of clips... Does the social media for Gas Digital. So follow all their social media pages on Instagram, Twitter, and the Gas Digital YouTube right here, Gas Digital Exclusive, where you can catch the show. Hit the notification bell to make sure you know when these episodes drop. Use promo code NOW, N O W. That's our code. Use promo code NOW for a week free trial to the website. Yeah. And also, you can follow him on Instagram at Natalie DeChico underscore edits. At Blind Mike. We just AI'd Jorge. We just use Jorge as our AI plugs. That's right. That's why he doesn't ever put his camera on. <laughs> My fucking floppy arms. Goodbye. I'm done. I've checked out 12 minutes ago. Goodbye. Get me out of here. Fast and Furious Transformers collab. It would be a bajillion dollars and it would probably make a bajillion dollars because everyone, it would just be like, the, uh, the cars. <laughs>